I want to start off by asking you a question. What is the only organic alternative to consumerism? I have to qualify that question, especially since my use of only in the only organic alternative to consumerism implies there is only one ideal pathway through the forest of consumerism. We should be skeptical. My statement is more rhetorical and emphasizes the urgency of action. You see, we have a dominant use social replacement term for God, and that is GDP or gross domestic product. For if this intricate balance of false equilibrium that we have as a species seem to worship could ever be challenged, we need to produce something of greater value. As a philosopher, I hold a relatively unique perspective that returning to the classics on antiquity holds that value if we take full advantage of her wisdom. I'm referring to the embodiment of wisdom and where it all originated from, ancient Greece. This means embracing a telos, which I go into later in the presentation and choosing iterative improvements over revolution. I say this because we live in a very prosperous time, a time where citizens still have the option to choose. If the climate crisis and the biodiversity collapse is, a, is as probable as the experts tell us, then wouldn't it be reasonable to prepare and conserve? I created a series with former CIA director Carmen Medina, who points out that our biased tendencies assessing a low probability to extreme or worst case event is deeply flawed. She knows this from her advisory role as a high ranking CIA analyst in Afghanistan and Iraq. Just because a future possible event is a worst case scenario doesn't make it less likely. As far as I can extrapolate, the worst case scenario is the collapse of humanity. Now, what does all this have to do with the Planck's vision? I will tell you. For me, the future will be one of scarcity, limited or perhaps governed growth. We will use the mechanisms of the market at our peril. For now, with limited resources, we run the risk of self annihilation. Our mission, Planck's mission is to provide a platform for emerging thought leaders. We have members with varying opinions, contrarian in fact. We don't cancel, for it's antithetical with culture. We co-create, and if we can't agree on a method, message, or deliverable, we move on, and so should you. Our unique membership cooperative has elements of competition in our peer review competitions. Our tutoring program is geared more towards nurturing ideas, not egos. And the creation strategies that we employ are for our individual means of production. We welcome you and hope you can be a part of our unique concept. 